Hi friends, Cole Chance filming on location at Treehouse Yoga in Austin. So if you're in town, please come check out this beautiful space. But today I want to do a pre post workout. It'll probably be 10, 15 minutes, just kind of open up the whole body and yeah, hit all the good spots. So let's go ahead and start standing. Just kind of, I'm probably three feet apart here. I'm just kind of moving the hips. And then find stillness. Close your eyes for just a moment and we'll connect with the breath. So take about three rounds of breath. Biggest ones of the day. Coming from the mind down into the body. One more big inhale. Fill up. And release. Nice. Let's bring the toes out a little bit and the heels in. And we're gonna to start to kind of sit low here. You can bring the hands to the knees and find a little bit of buoyancy. You can kind of sway side to side and we're just open up the shoulders here for a moment. So we inhale high and then exhale, let's dip the right shoulder down. So I'm keeping a little bit of bend in both of my elbows, sinking the hips low. Inhale, lift up and switch sides. So getting to the hips and to the shoulders. Exhale, come down. Again, inhale, lift and down. Good, and take the arms down, kind of graze the floor if that's available, and then inhale, hands up. Exhale through, heart center all the way down, graze. Inhale up, one more time, exhale coming down. Inhale up, good. Let's point the toes forward. And we're gonna grab the hands, so grab the hands behind you. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Imagine you could make a circle and then try to pull the hands apart so it brings the shoulder blades together, yeah? So gaze up, pull the shoulder blades together, pull the hands apart, the heart shining up. We'll bend the knees and start to bow forward. So rinsing out the shoulders, trying to keep that kind of globe orbit action. So I have a slight bend in the knees. You can have more. And let's bend in the right knee. Take the arms over towards the right, gaze under the left shoulder. Come back center and switch sides. Bend in the left knee, gaze over to the right. Come back to center, drop the hands. Let's take the right hand to the left foot. Open up the lungs to the left. You can push the hand away at the foot. So you're finding some extension. So I'm really long from the tailbone to the crown. So I'm not like this. If it feels good, be like this but push away to find length. Pull the belly in, and then exhale, release down. Walk the hands over, left hand to the right foot, ankle or calf, and we'll open up the lungs to the right, kind of pushing the ground away, finding length, tail to crown, open channel. Breathing and release, good. Let's bend the knees, take the hands to the hips, bring the shoulders towards each other, as if, or the elbows towards each other, as if you could touch them. You won't be able to, but as if you were, gaze forward, start to lift up with a flat back. Good. Let's open the toes to the right. You might want to extend your stance here too. We're gonna to come into warrior two. So bring the arms out, drop the shoulder blades down the back. Begin to bend in the front, knee. Sinking low. And find some buoyancy here. So we're making some movement. So we're sinking lower with every little bounce. Breathing. Inhale. Flip the front palm straight in the front leg. Reach back. Big side body stretch. This hand is coming down the thigh or the leg, but don't put it over the knee. Protect the knee. Big stretch. 
and then come forward. Send the hips to the back and then reach, reach, reach as if someone's pulling your hand and bring the hand down to the ground where here's a wonderful place for the block. Left hand comes up. Triangle pose. So we're spinning the chest open, reaching up. So a few things here about alignment. As if you're pressing your hand into a wall, the left hand, that'll twist your chest open more. And then check this right shoulder, it likes to come in. We'll externally rotate. And it also feels like you're opening a jar to the right with this hand. It can be another way to do it. So it's really open through the chest. One more inhale. Exhale, bend in the right knee. Bring the left arm over the top. Maybe bring the hand behind the head. Press the head back into the hand. Spin the chest open. One more inhale here. Exhale, spin towards the right foot. You can move the block. Or if you'd like to put two blocks underneath your hands, this is a great spot. So inhale, we'll gaze forward. Send the chest forward. Exhale, start to straighten the front leg and bow. Inhale forward. Exhale, bow. So this front leg doesn't have to come straight. Inhale forward. Exhale, bow. Good. Take a big step up with the left foot, about halfway up the mat. We'll come in to triangle pose, or into pyramid pose. This can be a great place for your blocks. All of these places can be great for blocks. It just brings the earth to you. So the back foot is kind of like in warrior one. It's 45 degree angle. The front leg is slightly bent or straight. Inhale, halfway lift, find length, and then exhale, bow forward. So we'll move with breath here, just getting into the hamstring. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, bow. So you're pushing into the front foot like it's a gas pedal. So keep the hips square. Inhale, lift. Once more, sinking. And let's take a little twist. So we'll revolve the triangle. So you can take the left hand to either one of these blocks. You can take it to the inside of the foot or the outside of the foot. The outside will be a little more intense. But place the hand on the block. Take the right hand to the hip and start to twist the chest open. So you can stay right here, pulling up on the pelvic floor to keep the balance. And also, again, remembering to press through the front foot. Maybe you lift the arm up. One more inhale here. And exhale. And we'll just spin back around. Separate the feet. We'll take a wide leg forward fold. Maybe you bring a block underneath the head right here. Feels nice. Breathing. Take a slight bend in the knees. Send the tailbone, the sit bones up towards the sky. That lengthens through the hamstrings. Good. Start to come up. Push the ground away. Heels in. Toes out. Sit, sink the hips low. Graze the floor. Inhale, lift up. And down. Twice more. Graze the floor and lift. Coming down. And once more. hands to heart center. Let's take it over to the left side. So, left toes going straight. The right toes, 45 degree angle. Bring the shoulders down onto the back. Open the heart. Reach out and start to bend in the front knee. So checking that the knee doesn't come in. It's wanting, needs to stay right in line here. And then also, check if you're leaning forward. The shoulders need to be over the hips. It's a tendency to come forward, but just bring it back. Easy adjustment. Find a little bit of buoyancy here. Flip the front palm. Straighten the front leg. Reach back 
The backhand doesn't come on the knee, but it can come on the thigh or on the calf, or can even wrap around if you'd like. That'll engage the core a little bit more. One more inhale. And start to come forward. So we're reach, reach, reaching, sending the hips towards the back, reaching towards the front. Bring the hand to the block, to the floor, to the leg. And we'll open up triangle pose. So be sure to keep a micro bend in this front leg. So you're not hyperextending, so keep just a little bit of a bend. So again here with the right hand as if you're pushing against an invisible wall. And then checking in with the bottom shoulder as well. You can open the jar to the left this time to externally rotate. So you really feel like you're opening through the chest. And then bending in the left leg, bringing the top arm over. Big stretch. Taking the hand to the back of the head. Pressing the head back into the hand, opening. One more big inhale into the side body. And then exhale, we'll come around to the left foot. So you have the blocks here or not. We'll inhale. Lunge, gaze forward, getting to the hip flexor, and then exhale, start to bow forward. So just releasing the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale. Twice more. In. Slowly getting deeper each time, just listening to the body. And one more time, pour it out. Beautiful. Step up about a foot, foot and a half, two foot, depends, depends on your size. And we'll come into pyramid pose. So it can be a good thing to take that thumb to the left hip crease or to the sacrum to kind of figure out where your hips are in space. We'll inhale, make lean. Exhale, bow forward. Pressing like a gas pedal into the left foot. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. And when you fold, just check the back arch and make sure it's lifted. If not, just zip it up real quick. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Good. So we'll revolve. If that's not feeling like in your practice today, then just stay right here. This is a very deep stretch. But if you'd like to revolve, then take the block to the inside or to the outside. And we'll take the right hand to the block. So we're wanting to just spin the torso and not so much the hips. The hips will spin a little bit, but take the hand to the left hip. Pull up on the pelvic floor and into the belly to help with stability. And then we'll start to twist open to the left. Breathing. Pulling back on the left hip. Maybe you open up the top arm. One more big inhale. Release it out. And we'll spin back around to center. Forward fold. Again, you can take the block underneath the head if you'd like. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Inhale, halfway lift, finally. Let's bring the heels in. Actually, come in just a little bit. About six inches on each side. Toes out, heels in, and we'll come into Malasana. So you can come onto a block right here. This is a great place. Or bring the, or just let the hips hang, whichever you like. So we'll just spend a couple moments here pressing out with the elbows. And imagining that the tail is dropping and the crown is lengthening. So we're trying to get away from this. And this may be what it more looks like, a more curved back in the beginning. But we're moving towards the opening. So imagine the traps can waterfall down the back. Just getting a big breath in here. Good. 
Take the right arm in front and reach, reach towards me. And then take it over to the right, plant the hand. Left hand comes up, so opening the left side of the heart. And you can stay right here, reaching, reaching. Or you can take this arm behind the back. If you take it behind the back, then make sure that the shoulder doesn't roll forward because this isn't uh, what we're after. We're after this opening. So if you get more of an opening with the arm up, then stay right there today. One more inhale, wherever you are, reach high. So come out of the bind if you have it. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Reach left arm towards me and then open up, plant the hand. Let's inhale, twist up. So staying right here, taking that arm behind the back, but making sure the shoulder stays open, a little tighter on this shoulder. So the moment it starts to collapse, just back up a little bit, the shoulder. One more inhale, reach, exhale, hands to heart center. Remove the block, or if you didn't have the block, just come down onto a seat. Hmm, just find your seat. Roll the shoulder blades back again, feeling much length here. Let's inhale, tee the arms, gaze up. Exhale, round the back, touch the fingers. So really, really reaching the fingers away. Inhale, lengthen, so we're just stretching the back, articulating the spine. Exhale, come forward one more time. Inhale, lean. Exhale, bring it together. And this time, bring the hands up. And then hands to heart center. Close your eyes. And just notice the space you created in your body, even if it's just a short practice, just how beneficial and spending some time giving some love to our bodies can be. Let's take a big inhale together. Side out the mouth. And drop the hands, slowly open your eyes. And thank you all so much for joining me. Please stay tuned for Yoga Tribe coming out soon. We have all the information on yogatx.org and coldchanceyoga.com. Really, really excited to bring you this, uh, this wonderful package deal. So until next time, be well, be kind. See you soon. Namaste. Exhale. Then inhale, we'll start to sit back and lift the arm. So chair pose. Inhale, spread the collarbones and exhale, sit a little bit deeper. So I have the knees separate here. You can have the knee, you can have the feet together if you'd like. The knees are